it is Tuesday again, and you know that Tuesdays on East Flash come with the best of the best of our movie industry in Nigeria, popularly called Nollywood. Yes, with that said, I welcome you to Nollywood Tuesday on your favorite show. That's right. Welcome to today's show. Today's show promises to be interesting as we have a lot in store for you. It's exciting to come through the world, the movie world, and catching on through both home right here and, of course, abroad. All right, and it's always an experience on Tuesdays for us, like Dave said. So join in on all of the fun as we roll them out. Yes, guys, it's at TVC Connect with the hashtag eSplash on TVC. Let's feel your plus, pulse rather this <laughs> afternoon. Don't forget, you can also watch us live. It's tvcontinental.tv. Yes, do not forget that. My name is Foladile, guys. Welcome aboard. And of course, it's Royalness, it's Flyness. I go by your name, King OJ. All you right. You can call me OJ. We'll cover it. Totally. Okay, I like that. <laughs> it's your girl, it's your home girl, it's your girlfriend next door. My name is Honey Potts. It's a jewel in the crowd. All right, and on today's episode, we have entertainment news, we have celebrity birthday shout outs, then a quick history lesson of entertainment history on Rewind. Not forgetting Sweetville Well will take us through all the weird and crazy moments on social media. Right after that, we'll take a look at an actor from way back on Where Are They Now segment. All righty, then it will be time to chew it off yes on the true tough segment and one of my favorite moments of course and of course we'll also check out a recap of all that you might have missed in the news then daily top five will be up next and that's not all later oj and i will bring you some movie talk on the movies at the movies segment awesome 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 stuff we'll get the show on the road after this break so you better stay here with us stay tuned <laughs> anyway, let's just go to the news before I get into trouble today. Yeah. And our first news is why I left music LD. Yes, Nigerian rapper and producer Larry Dabiri, aka LD the Don, has explained why he left music for another business. In an interview with Punch, LD said one of the reasons he decided to leave music in 2012 was because he realized he would not have time for his family. The rapper said, and I quote, I made a conscious decision not to be an active musician in 2012. I realized that with the path that my music was taking me, I wouldn't have time for my family and they are more important also i didn't want to raise my children in the environment that i was in at that time and they had to take them away because they had better options end quote the music veteran also said he left the nigerian music industry because he realized that the business side of music was no longer making sense in the country stating he had other businesses he was doing that were making him more money he further said that he doesn't regret leaving the music industry saying and i quote i miss the creative part but i don't miss all the troubles that come with being a Nigerian musician. <laughs> I, would, I never would have been that guy to have baby mama issues. It's about character. Um, LD the Don is now an IT consultant based in the United States of America. His kids are so cute. So why but do I, I think that there is some kids. sort of shit? Sub, sub, like, you know, Nigerian artist, in a subtle baby, way, daddy. baby daddy, <laughs> and I am responsible kind of thing and all that. It went, it, it went on saying a lot, talking about you're not making money in the Nigerian music industry being an artist, then later you now get broke in future, then you now start doing like a GoFundMe that please help me, I'm broke. Which I is always happening, which is, I mean, it happens all the time. That sounds like shit again. No, no, but really it is the truth and we have to face the truth. So upstairs today, while I was doing my makeup, uh, somebody, oh, they played DJ song and so somebody went, <laughs> And I'm like, ah, why did you have that reaction? And I said, well, she's just coming and going. We don't even understand that. So I said, ah, but she has a family. Yes. Now, this is it. People don't, well, maybe some people, very few people have been able to combine family with, music. you know, with music. But it is so, so, I mean, I think it's a daunting task, actually. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be pulling that off, you are like a champion. And if people are concentrating, because she's married, and I think she has two kids already, that is Dija. So yeah. if you're going to be concentrating yeah. like that, I mean, you need proper, look at Net Neto C. I interviewed Neto C, and Neto C was talking about, he knew that it would not be in music forever. And that he knew that, you know, it would always, family comes first mm -hmm. and all that. So I think when people have their priority, it doesn't matter what people think even if they think that because at the end of the day they are this people are not always loyal true that <laughs> people are never just always loyal they'll move on to the next wasn't person he, wasn't he um jasmine alofin that said it when he came that they'll say i drop 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 drop, drop. okay now i've dropped like, drop this song hey, but you should have still done it <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want i think you just do what is best for you but, but wait, well said 
But we're even going far. Even Moriah of your view, I mean, it was one of the things she talked about when she left yeah, TBC, TBC itself, and she was saying, look, I want to focus more on family. So it's 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 nice when people can, um, you're not letting the pressure of your fans and everything get mm -hmm. to you. You're able to stand outside of the noise and be like, do you know what? What is really important to me? I need to focus okay. on that. So I think, um, you know, big ups to you, LD, for doing this. And of course, it's also nice that he left when the ovation was quite loud. loud. So yeah. It's he good. went, he came, came back, back, cashed out, like, and that's nah. it. You know, right now, you know I ego B. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing again is that when you talk about family like that, at the end of the day, who are those people you fall back yeah. on? Yeah. Family. So when you do career, 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 and at the end of the day, you're now falling sick, you're looking for those are the people eventually. So I think we should just get our priorities. LG, your family like cover you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like that slang. All right, moving on. Is flavor ready to settle down? Mm. Now, Nigerian singer Flavor has hinted that is ready to settle down. He made this note <coughs> on Instagram when he commented on the wedding picture of fellow musician Smash of Brackets, which took place over the weekend in Lagos. He wrote, congratulations on one name. I hope I, I pronounced that well. <laughs> a smash bracket. I am next. So I'm wondering who could Flavor be planning on settling down with? Could it be any of his former beauty queen baby mamas, Sandra or Cowboy or Anna Banner, or maybe somebody else, or maybe oh, me? Because she is. Yeah. OJ, oh, you okay. probably don't know this. I know, I know. Oh, you know, right? It's not you. She's a huge so what, what Flavor makes you think, fan. No, what makes you think? It's not me. Because what if what if I'm not just because making noise? If it's your if you and flavor you are running things, we would have seen signs. It's a lie. You would have been pregnant by now. You would have given birth. Wait! <laughs> Around the same flavor, it doesn't waste time. Though. So, what if I Receive. want to change it? How many does he have now? Two from the, and you're not a beauty queen, yes. Ah, if I'm His me, beauty I'm queen is to go for. Like, he performed at a particular beauty, uh, beauty project again recently, and people were like, Hey, go, why flavor? You want you, to you carry want one, to one now? He will now pick one for me and go <laughs> pregnant again. So he has a thing for beauty okay. queen. No, but I think it's two like back that. to back, like, but you know, one. they say you don't marry your spec sometimes, so maybe, maybe. Okay, nice one. Yeah. No, no, really. But, but, but yes, I was still telling the guy yesterday. I said, you people don't have sex, Jare. That's but, what I'm saying. I like, I like. Then but, you will not get married. You're going to be cheating on but can another you person marry, that can is totally... flavor, though? If it will okay. change, it would have to change. change? No, 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 I'm not saying that I will not do his music. It will what not do. Change? Like, I have to see some... Uh, uh, some what? Like it should not be whining with Because you no, know, I'm not saying that it's not whining with But the thing is, I cannot come and have a heart attack. Like not pregnant under beauty queen. I, what, which change? No, just say which particular change. Like which aspect of his life would he have? To okay, make so he's going to in? concentrate on me. Eh? So you'll hey. not do music again. You'll be, you'll be music. Do me. Kilo de, he's going to do music, okay. right? He's going okay. to do music, okay. but then he's going to concentrate on me. Okay. It will now be a case of. Two Face and Annie Dibia. Oh, so you know that this is the main Cheek. person. The main person. Nice one. When you impregnate so somebody out of wedlock. Are you sure that Honey Pots will not marry flavor like this? You know this this her trip uh, that she tensioned us with on Instagram. Are you sure they did not meet today? She would have been pregnant if she and Flavor were running things. I, okay, all right. Ah. All right, We're talking about my issue. <laughs> Moving swiftly along. Yes, and this one is not a very um, exciting one. Yes, Big Low announces he's down with kidney ailment. Nigerian producer and rapper Lotana Udezwe, um, I hope I didn't murder that, aka Big Low, is currently down with a kidney ailment and he's currently at a nursing home in California in the US undergoing dialysis as he has been placed on oxygen. Oh my goodness. According to him, he was diagnosed with the renal disease, that's kidney failure, in July 2018 and he has been on dialysis three times a week since January and has already undergone three surgeries. Now, a video shared on his GoFundMe page has been circulating where he stated that his health condition has turned his life upside down, making him lose everything. Let's take a look at the video. This is Lutan now, this way, and this is my story. Last year, July, I was diagnosed with renal, end-stage renal disease, and my kidneys are currently functioning at 9%. As a result, in January, I was placed on dialysis. I have to do dialysis three times a week. It's been very hard for me. I've been in and out of hospital so many times. I've had three surgeries so far. I have another one. And it's my life has just turned upside down. I lost my job. I lost my car. I lost my house. I'm currently in a nursing home. Why I have to be on oxygen 24-7? Please, this is an appeal 
to my family and my friends to please help me. Please. Oh, oh my goodness. Now, guys, you might remember that Big Low was popular for his production skills back in the day, but also, of course, for his monster hit songs. Yes, Delicious featuring Two Shots and um, Style Plus Drive Me Crazy featuring him. Oh my goodness. Guys, Big Low was a big deal back then. And exactly. when you look at how, you know, how healthy he looked back then as well, compared to what he looks like now, so sad. Exactly what LD was talking yes. about. So it is not only in music industry, it is like in almost every industry in Nigeria. So you look at, okay, what do you fall back on? Your pension, gratuity, whatever thing. I mean, gratuity for people who um, die along the line and yeah, then they yeah. get that. Okay, so when you look at all of these things, pensions, and then you're looking at, okay, how do you, okay, maybe you can even feed yourself. But then when you have problems like this, like health, health issues, how do you take care of yourself? I think it is just high time we began to look into all of this I mean, look into the future, what it holds. I'm not saying that oh, we pray for this because I can remember the last time I had an interview with uh, OJB. Yeah. And so he was talking to me about how people said, oh, he got more than they, do donated, they donated for him. And he said, do you even know what it takes to even take care of himself? And he said, he, he told me at that point that he was sensitive to everything. He didn't have leg issue. Then he started working in a funny way. And, uh, you know, every time he's getting infected by something because he has to be careful of almost everything. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're going to, I mean, I'm just using this as an example. You go to like um, a herbalist and they say that the, uh, you know, you shouldn't step on a cockroach yeah. and you know that there is no how you not step on a cockroach yeah. at the end of the day i mean so it's so difficult yeah. and when he passed away i was like look this was what he was talking about and nigerians cannot be sensitive we can never be sensitive because you're asking questions you got more than do you know what it takes to even take care to have a transplant yeah. and then take care of the person yeah. afterwards i know someone who uh you know uh, gave his brother um his kidney, kidney. And it was not because he didn't have a kidney before. He had the problem a long time ago. The sister gave the kidney. They did not have money to take care of him uh, one certain year. And so it got spoiled. He had to go for treatment, but it got spoiled. So they had to like get another kidney from him. And I pray that every year they get money to always treat him. So That's this is a lot. We should think about it. Uh, and I think that there should be better ways of taking care of people, uh, you know, at the end of That's the day. Yeah. It's so, so sad. sad. So, so, so sad. And um, he's not, what I thought was interesting is that he's not even in a hospital, actually. Like, he's in a nursing home, which is even a different thing. I feel like maybe that's what he can even afford perhaps afford to have. Moment. Yeah. It's, ah, oh, man. I, I, Really, really sad. Really sad. And look, our hearts go out to you, um, yeah. Big Low, and we really, really pray that this ends in praise like they say. Amen. Amen. Okay, moving on to our final story, Diamond Platinum expecting fourth child. Yes, Tanzanian singer Nasibu Abdul Juma, aka Diamond Platinum, and his Kenya girlfriend Tanasha Dona have revealed they are expecting a child together. The announcement was made during a double celebration for the singer's mother and his girlfriend when he said, and I quote, there is no need of hiding it anymore. She's now seven months pregnant, and in two months, our family will get bigger. In case you do not know, this will be Tanasha's first child, as Diamond Platinum already has three kids, two with two Ugandan socialite Zari Hassan and one with former Tan former Miss Tanzania Amisa Mobeto. It's another so, person that likes beauty queens and models. And it's, it's working for him. Like there were issues in his marriage yes, before. Yes, always settled, getting into... Moved on with this one. Now this new one is pregnant. Oh. Hopefully, yeah. Some people are talented in that industry. area, Sha. It's, it's a talent, she. It's a talent. Like you just <laughs> touch. Touch and get pregnant. And and go. <laughs> like, but, but they say that the world is changing and um, it's no longer a place where the order of things is, oh, find get someone, married, get married, born. Give, give yeah. Back. Now it's yeah. do it any four. Things Ten. fall apart. The center can no longer yeah. hold. And this is some American <laughs> behavior. This, those Atlanta guys, them future, um, them, what's his and name? The, the, Migos guy. Migos, yeah. future, future and the rest. Hey. Just anybody that you like, just impregnate the person and just move on. Offset take, has like take, care of, take care of the child. That's the necessary thing right now. And, and Diamond Platinum, shout out to you though. Be shout picking, out. Be picking them one by one. But is there still, them. but guys, is there still a point in doing things the right way? What do you guys so, think? So, uh, uh, wow. Uh, okay, so well, in this because era, you feel like in this, uh, in this, in this work, era, work period, I think, so we, we don't know what is right any longer. I mean, you know how we used to like, oh, you don't do this, you don't do that. So things are changing. That when you say certain things are wrong, people come for you. Like, why is like, it wrong? Why is it wrong? I'm happy with her. We have a child. Yeah. So you have to respect yourself. <laughs> Look very well. Like don't go and put your mouth in another person's matter. 
what, what, yeah. what, a, what a wife would take from this angle. He got married, he got separated from his wife, hooked up with somebody else, started a relationship, that one got pregnant, he wasn't cool with the relationship, got somebody else, got pregnant again. So it's, it, it's not working in his relationship, so he's moving on. And in that case, it's still getting the other people pregnant. And like and 100%, maybe how he wants to conduct his life is just spread his seed up and down. In which case, that's how he's, con like, that's how he's it's conducting his life. It's and it's not, uh, it's not it's not So why aren't you doing it? Because you don't have any child yet, as have... far as we know. <laughs> you, do you, you think so? As far as we know, that's okay, why I said. Okay. Yeah, do you have it. any seed yet? No. Of spring? No, yes. So why did you have to use seed? <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I did you just come back from Jerusalem? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh God, this will not kill me. <laughs> All right, time for our celebrity birthday segment. Yes. Today we are celebrating Tom Hanks, the actor. He has numerous films to his credit, including Forrest Gump, Saving Private uh, Ryan, The Da, da Vinci, Vinci Code, Code yes. and The Toy Story. Yeah. All right, happy it was, birthday. It was a voiceover for w Woody. Woody, that's a cowboy in Toy Story. Yeah. And yeah. of course, Shoe Da, da Vinci Code. Yeah. Yeah. Creepy. So, so many. So, it's so many. those creepy movies. And of course, yes, um, the head of our creative department. Happy birthday to you, Yinka. Ajije 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 that's what I call it. Yinka's okay. surname is Ajije Didun. And then for, I think people who like baby mamas should bear this name. Ajije Didun. Okay, I didn't it's say long. anything. It's long. So guys, happy birthday <laughs> to Mary and all of you. We love yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> and happy birthday in advance to Honeypot. Your birthday is tomorrow. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I went to do early birthday. Dubai, Dubai. <laughs> in Dubai. And some people were asking, why did you come she back? She did not tell us, so we saw it on Instagram. In case people thought we knew where she went. She did not tell me. Yeah. And I'm a manager. Yeah. <laughs> but that's for another Maybe day. Maybe I'm just being in Nigeria. Yeah. You know what they say? Don't tell her. Before this, wow. just something will happen. Yeah. No, oh, I yeah. mean, no, 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 okay. no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. The things that you want to do these days is Zanku. Zanku. Like, even when you want to dance, church song is Zanku. People are even dancing all those songs. That's so big dance in church. Yeah. So, yeah, we saw one clip of, yeah. But why will I not dance Zanku to a Zlatan song this yeah. year? And shout out to Zlatan and J1. I think they've settled it down. So but I think they did not even have problems. Church, but please, uh, no. Well, people doesn't want to I'll hear that. No, he's a lie. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. there's a video clip, yeah. I'll tell you about it. <laughs> It's a certain church. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> Anyways, God. yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, it's time for Tweetville. This is Tweetville where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and crazy <coughs> moments happening on social media. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we so are. let's do this. So somebody put up um, this picture of a coconut with a little coconut inside. And he said, I broke a coconut and found this inside. inside. What is it called? Baby coconut or what? Then somebody now replied. You just release somebody oh, from bondage. Oh my god! You know, in all those movies, they will put something inside one calabash, and this is like a coconut. Is like a coconut. How did it so, get there? So I think that there is no amount of me. being westernized or no, however yeah. you want to put it that can to come change back to the house. Africans to the roots. So I saw that OAP. Um, I said like, oh, oh. OAP tools the other time was talking and was talking about how Nigeria has changed her. Like she saw yeah. a kitten. She yeah. saw a Kitten and she's been feeding the kitten. When All of a mind, sudden, the thing like, just came like, ah, this, this, can this be... can be somebody in Santio <laughs> from the village that I've been feeding. So she just let the kitten, oh my God. What I'm is, like, why? What, what, what is this thing doing inside this that's... coconut? What is this smoke? Coconut doing inside this coconut? That is this how is I say I want to get a cat. And OJ is always like, no, you that likes cats. Don't do that. It can be somebody. Nigeria has messed up. <laughs> can you get a cat? <laughs> but I still want to get, my grandmother had a cat. Mm, okay. Are you sure that... Cat was not an answer. Uh, yes, no. or a great, or a great I, we'll answer. And you know the name of my grandmother's cat, yeah. so I intend naming my cat that. Sheriri. So in English, it means, what, it means do good. It's not even deep. Even if you name uh, it, do grace bad. of God. <laughs> And I'm sure it was intentional. <laughs> hey, no, uh, to, to speak positive, declare what you want to see. <laughs> okay, check out some more tweets on social media. At Real Mavino put up a tweet and said, Nigerian girlfriend will send you empty and 200 naira. After breakup, they will put up the status for you. Never bite the hand. That's what <laughs> My babe, it's just 200 naira. <laughs> Richard what did you feed me? 200 naira. <laughs> My God. So the thing about when people do you good, you're quick to forgive, yeah. forget. Then the person who did it doesn't forget. So the person, do you know how you got the 200 naira? So please, never bite the hand. That I you. So you, because of that 200 naira, Richard, that's how you now came with this 
never <laughs> been behind that fence. <laughs> what did you feed? No, but OJ, do you know that that 200 could have been like from the little 2K that she had? And she gave you a whole 200 naira. So, you, like she said, you don't never bite the hand that fed you. But really, to be fair, yeah. to be fair to okay. guys, I think some girls just think that it is only guys who should you give in give, relationships. Give, so, receive, receive, so, receive. so when they now do one thing, them, well, loud, loud so when they do one it. thing, it's like they've done a big thing. So I think that when you're in a relationship, it goes both ways. Yeah, like you should, yeah, it's a given. See this thing loud so that people will hear. For the people in the back, <laughs> uh -huh. so, <laughs> you know, so the back when the person gives you something, give the person. And if it does not work out at the end of the day, it does what not really matter. Back? So you know how they say that cars packed at owner's risk. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So you don't go. And wash clothes in somebody's house and say, after all, I don't, well, you wanted to wash after all you meal. after all the food you cook. I am just saying. <laughs> Check <laughs> out some more tweets. This is from at Samuel Mba, um, and it says every day you do screenshot clothes <laughs> and shoes when you go buy them. Oh every Nigerian God. girl. Don't is do that. That's an assertion. Don't don't generalize. Okay, maybe because I see a lot of Nigerian girls. No, because you see a particular Nigerian girl who's no, a very good not friend. Just do one, this. Not just one. Mm. I see a lot of people actually do this. Like they just scroll through Instagram. Ah, nice shoe, <laughs> munch. Ah, nice clothes, munch. Madam, when are you going to buy the cloth and the shoe? You're doing it in faith. You're yes. doing it in faith. God, one day you will provide. It's true. Until then. Screenshots in faith. There's somebody I know or that you can like, still go. Or maybe for your birthday. So like you you know those people that put up stuff and then like this what I want for my birthday. birthday wish list, yes. So you munch, you munch, you munch until your birthday comes. Only pot, you used to do this. I do it, but when uh -huh. I do no, 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 no. <laughs> no let me explain now. Unless your munch is against no, tomorrow. No, no, when, I, when I know, when I even do it, this is why I do it. I do it because I want to buy it. I mean, I don't have the money uh, yet, but then I'll just keep it. Okay. Or I like the style, or I like something. People even save other people's pictures. Okay. You know, you go to your picture and then you see that like 30 people, 100 people uh, saved your picture. So, I mean. And we, we have heard. Nobody's arguing. Nobody's arguing. Or maybe for that person's birthday, they just want to put it up. Like, okay, this Silly is the picture boy. I like. Okay. You're not serious. See your, see, okay. see your goats. <laughs> Check out some more tweets. Sending someone an errand on errand in Nigeria. Oh my goodness. So listen, the elder, elders, go and buy me bathing soap. If locks na seventeen era, buy them. But if locks no day, buy joy soap. If locks day, but then we sell and pass seventeen era and joy na seventeen era, buy joy. <laughs> But if Joy and Lux pass on Tinera, oh but no pass on Jenner, buy Lux. If two of them no day, Kai, buy confused. anyone way good. Oh my guy! And the picture of the kid is like, Auntie, what do you really want? No, OJ, I feel like that picture is more like, oh, so you could have led with buy anyone. Buy anyone, good. just straight up. So you started with <laughs> the story. Yeah, like, the, if buy there's no seven Tinera, Lux, buy Joy. <laughs> and if there's not that Joy, and you think the Lux is cheaper than the Lux, but. Like, but some older people are really, really impossible. What do they send like they like are that? really impossible. And <sighs> you now come back because you're confused and you did the wrong thing. Ah, they you have just the journey. Like I know someone like, you can't back. come back with a no or they didn't have no. You go can't. back. So yeah. you know what I'm saying. saying, Madam, you were reading scripts that we know you. And guess what? Your back now have a way. If they want to like talk or gossip and they don't want to be there as a child. They just say you should go and collect a redon from somebody. Yeah, <laughs> so you know did, that person now sent to another Johnny person. Johnny never ends. They did that. They did that, that, they did that in my secondary Someone school. Say, I didn't know. Johnny never dining, ends. Dining hall, and if they just want to frustrate so you, that, that one is like a book. Johnny yeah, never ends. Yeah, if they want to frustrate you, go and miss your so 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 and go and collect. What's your redon? Johnny never ends. That's the book. But they say your redon. A redon. Go and get so that senior will understand and say, eh, oh ah, my redon is not with me. You know what? Go and meet. Let's say we toss in Johnny. New seniors in school that day. I know, as in I, I, I really cut the cruise. Like I didn't, I didn't know. So I really Did went. It to you? Yes. Yeah. And I go and collect um, my book. Jen never ends from senior banker. Hey, so now hey, when hey. senior banker will not send you somewhere. Yeah, like, oh, okay, Jen never. Oh, go to Jane. <laughs> <laughs> After the second person, I said no. This is scam. Okay, and this one is from Smith and Gunda, and it says just two weeks in a relationship, all your clothes are already in this house. <laughs> is it a lot, Nigerian girls? <laughs> It's just two weeks. You're just shading Nigerian girls today. Yeah, it's not new. It's somebody that put it up and it's a girl that actually... Only what? Can you relate? Why I cannot relate. I, say, I just I think about it for some people. I cannot relate. Oh, you know people that used to do this? Ah. Like two weeks in a relationship and you have moved Did to Did you ever house. make your boyfriend your tailor? Mm, no. Think about it. To when you were a baby girl. 
Uh, no. <laughs> God, I am still a baby girl. Okay. 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 So you know what? I love my house so much. Mm -hmm. The only time I did this, uh -huh. you people, you know, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Like I did not really do this, but when I did it, they had a reason that I did this thing. Now it's you, a tailor. No, I'm just saying that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. Is it a tailor? No. I am just saying Sorry. that my house until. The last day, I'm getting married like this. That's when I will pack my... Like, I'm just there, stretching my legs on my couch. No, no okay. way. So that means that she has done this before, boy. Before. No, okay. Okay. So she never ever No, did this. no. You know I don't do this, but it was because of one just reason. One, so one reason. Did this one time. Ah, for that delay. Okay. And this thing, I cannot explain it. She's on this table. <laughs> I am not on this table, though. Okay, I am not on this table. just sitting gently. When I have <laughs> parents and we have a house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a wrap, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, OJ. So much craziness. I love it. <laughs> Somebody was saying it one time. I think it was yesterday. I saw it online, and the person was saying that you know what? I can't dance to save my life. She was moving on the chair like this, and you know that you think that she's the best dancer. I said what? Chair. I am in this queue. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up next is where are they now? Let's take a look to find out which actor from way back we're talking about today. Let's go. Welcome to another edition of Where Are They Now. Sam Dede. Samuel Dede Toku, popularly known as Sam Dede, is a legendary award-winning Nollywood actor and a pioneer in the industry. Having been in the industry for over 20 years, he has acted in more I than 200 Nollywood movies, including Isakaba, The Lioness and The Lion can never Never boast of equal strength. Igodo, Mission to Nowhere, Darkest Night, War Front, The President Must Not Die, Ibu Bay, and so on. Being a man of varying interests, he has abandoned his acting career to delve into politics. In 2012, Sam Dede was appointed by the River State Governor as the Director General of the River State Tourism Development. There is some kind of fear. Fear. A fear that I would one day lose my command. Now you know where he is now. Yep. So, okay, guys, it's a wrap on the first half of the show. Still to come, entertainment news recap, daily top five, and movies are the movies. See you on the <laughs> other side. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So, tell me one time. So, so, so tell me two times. So, 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 so. So, 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 me three times. So, 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 so maybe something's annoyed that day. Maybe from the airport. Uh, like, you know, like, it really happens. You know when, it really oh, happens. Like, when you're back in the country, you're not like... Your rant will change yeah, when you go out. Oh, when you leave the country, your rant like, will change. You know, the airport, yeah. things like, when I was at the airport, oh, yeah. just rant. You know what? I'm not going to go into that particular one. Like, when I... Because I cannot keep comparing. I'll just <laughs> pass out. <laughs> <laughs> what? So many things are wrong. We can't begin to fix now. Start. So, please, let's go to... <laughs> but the one that pained me the most was that, you know how... Somebody pollutes the air. Somebody pollutes the air, and then every like you have a lot of people in that place, and you now know no who because the thing did not make a sound, and you're now so I'm guilty. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is. <laughs> like so everybody is guilty, and you're like, but this thing did not come from me. And you're you looking at another person, yeah. and you're looking at somebody that is so looking somehow. And you say it will be this person. Yeah, you know and who and judge people's pollution by their appearance, like. And, and then you're looking at this person, and then. So, that thing happened to me <laughs> on the plane, and so we didn't oh, know who. Goodness. So, e so e and then I was already feeling uneasy. My feet were like twice my, like, oh, I sat yeah. down for like, how many And so I didn't know who did it. So when I got home, I was telling my sister that. So I was thinking it was another person. My sister, and I was like, but you don't know those foreigners so can very, <laughs> can very wow, guilty. That, wow. that thing, that, that thing smelled like, I, the thing I perceived smelled like an Indian. I said, hey. I, I said, so me, I said, I thought about, I thought it was another person beside me. I said, uh-uh, how could you have? And then I now thought about it. So I said, 
about that next person thinking it was me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, so I'm, is there a way you can... That's how things are. So is there a way, especially when that thing now, you know, <laughs> to use it, like a bomb? Yes. <laughs> and it came twice. The person released it twice, like... Drop it like it's hot. No, but I have and to it had the same smell. <laughs> I have to say that wow. plain mess is a mess. <laughs> you guys remember? Like, because you'll be like, where Who could is it be? This has happened to me before. It didn't just hit us. I was like, how now? <laughs> how? Yeah. We're all here. Like, we're all in a close space. Of us. Like, so, so I don't so know. I really is, is there any way we can just do it that it will not now look like? No, there's no way. There's no way. Mess is mess. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, honestly, let, let it go. Let it go. Let it my go. mom will say, Allah, oh, Dali, so, so. <laughs> my mom always says that as well, that there's no house for well, mess. Yes. Let yeah. it go. So, I feel like, I'm here, I smell it. She'll be like, is it jello fresh? Like, you have to smell. <laughs> like, that's what it's meant to do. Anyway. Anyways, yes, moving on, it's time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. Yeah. And of course, the first one we talked about is LD telling us why he left music. All right, is Flavor ready to settle down? <laughs> hmm. And then we talked about Big Glow, a very sad one. He has announced that he's down with a kidney ailment. And of course, finally, we talked about Diamond Platinum expecting fourth child. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So before, before we go on this break, yes, happy birthday once again to our very own head of our creative department, Yinka Ajije Didon. You learned? You I did. Got, I, got, I, got, I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. I got this. Yes, happy birthday, Yinka. So in case all those graphics that you see on our TV, in case you see me flying one day, it's Kotsi Yinka and his creative guys. They are creative like that. Yes, we have a, a, a little clip that people recorded to wish Yinka a happy birthday. So let's check this out. Happy birthday, Mr. Yinka. Happy birthday to the best boss. Happy birthday, Mr. Yinka. Happy birthday to you, Mr. Yinka. I love you. Happy birthday, Baba. Of two. Happy wonderful birthday. More of uh, God's blessing abundantly. You really deserve the best. Great opportunities in this, this new age. I wish him long life and prosperity. Wishing you more wins, more favor, more progress, more everything to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Yinka. You. Yang, you've been a wonderful person. You've been an uncle. You're a very inspiring man, and it's nice to know you. We love you. Cheese. Happy birthday, long life to you and prosperity. Now, happy birthday, Mr. Inka. You know at the level they're going to permit day for the after party. We deal with you. May the rest of your days be the best of his love. You. Everything about you is perfect, baby. This year, blessings on every front. Good news all around. In Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day. There's cake. There's cake. And That's think, all you took from that. There's cake and there, there, should, there will definitely be drinks after. Yinka, you're the girl. You're the Happy plug. birthday, Yinka. Yeah, you're the plug still. Let's turn up. After okay. The show. What kind of drinks? I thought you were on like a drinks fast. What an our drink, Jules? Something light. Something light. Something light. Something light. Yeah, away. Yes. That's how you every time you be saying that you are you are you are, you are dieting. You're Easy dieting. your diet. And then you now say cheats. <laughs> every time you are cheating. Cheat today will, today will be my cheat day because it's Inka's birthday. Tomorrow will not be because there are things day. to eat and drink. So leave me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this guy I can't deal. All right, now we'll take a break and we'll be back with daily top five. This is where you want to be. It's time for our daily top five. Last week, we talked about five African actors, male actors, who have crossed over and are making waves in the Nollywood industry. Today, we're talking about the ladies. Ooh. Yes, let's take a look at five African actresses who have crossed over to Nollywood. Number one on our list is Yvonne Nelson. The Ghanaian beauty came into Nollywood when she acted alongside Genevieve Naji in 2007. A physique, amongst other things, makes her memorable on screen. She has featured in numerous Nigerian movies and has since become a name in the Nollywood industry and of course in the music industry when she had <laughs> something to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and, I have and, your meds. <laughs> and ice prints too. So yeah, I just had to chip that in. <laughs> yeah, Eva Nelson. Uh -huh. They like they the, like the people crazy that are crazy about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's 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 stunning, man. She's stunning. And she's a hardy and that physique, man. And of course, as an actor as well, she's not she's not bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to Yanya and Ice Prince. Oh wow. <laughs> you know okay. Shout, oh, shout, out, to, shout out to Yanya and Ice Prince. But then is there anything you're thinking? Yvonne Nelson. It's okay. I got I'm your, your medicine. medicine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Then and Ice Prince too. Let's not Okay. Come Let's on. not go to that one. But it's also cool that like I think when they come over to Nollywood, they also is like you they find Nigerian men, eh? They rob men with our guys. Because this is one of the other ones we'll talk about. Yeah. 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 Ah, bad guys. 
I don't know. I don't know. What's your problem, <laughs> Oji? All right, guys, moving swiftly along to our second actor, female actor or actress, or whatever you want to call it. Yes, Yvonne Okoro, this on-screen beauty has left many wondering about her origin. Well, her mother is Ghanaian and her father is Nigerian, but she grew up in Ghana. And her film debut was actually produced by a Nigerian producer, Theo Akatuba, and that was just after her senior high education. She has since starred in a number of Nigerian movies and acted alongside Nigerian actors like Yole Doche, Blossom Chukujeku, and Nkemawa. Yeah, I remember the, the, the one with Nkemawa. Nkemawa. Oh, was, um, I, I knew it was what you were going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, hysterical. And she did it. This, she, has, she actually was all right in it. And she's very stunning. Yeah, as well. was it the one that had Ellen Paul in it? And yes. Yeah, very, very <coughs> interesting. And Adame, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was really interesting. And because of her name, people are always thinking she's from here. Yeah. yeah. No, she's And uh, we here. even had her on the show one mm -hmm. time. Yes, I remember. Yes. I remember it was like three years ago or so. But some, mm, well, you know that most of them actually have something to do with, like, they're always in Nigeria. So, I mean, why wouldn't you think that's... Uh, and then they rush us. And then they rush us. Even if she's half Nigerian. So. She is, actually. Yeah. She is. So win both ways. That's fine. Okay. She so let's out. move... Okay, I thought you wanted to say something. No, me, no. I'm not that girl. <laughs> now, let's move on. Lydia Fawson is the next. And now, this very funny and energetic Ghanaian sweetheart is next on the list. Lydia Fawson has featured in Nigerian movies like Fin Swap, uh, Isoken, uh, and prove, has proven that it is not difficult to forget a character like her. She has really come a long way and has shown that thick actresses can have reputable careers in the movie industry too. Yeah. True, so, true, true, true. Uh, okay. She's so funny. Only for what? <laughs> Don't be that girl. Don't be that girl. What's going yeah, on? she doesn't want to be that girl. <laughs> She does, <laughs> don't don't force anything out of any person. Yeah. No, don't ask me any question. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Did she win an AMBC or was she nominated? I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. She was nominated. Yeah, she was, she was nominated, nominated last year. Yeah. Okay, moving swiftly on. <laughs> yes. No, wait, I'm not done. What do you want to say? No, she I doesn't don't have anything say anything. But she's stunning. She's stunning. And um, yeah. um, also, I think when you consider the list that we have, she's one of the ones that have done the perhaps the fewest movies, but... She's she, still relevant. Yeah, like. she's still quite relevant in Nigeria. Really nice, really, really nice. Okay, moving still... on to the next one on our list. Number four is Juliet Ibrahim. Yes, born to a Lebanese father and a Ghanaian Liberian mother. Juliet Ibrahim's first Nollywood film was Yankee Boys, after which she went on to star in many other films. She has acted alongside Nigerian actors like Mike Ezunroye, Ruth Kadri, Pat Atta, Nungoz Yezienu, and others. Her love for Nigeria was further solidified by a relationship with Nigerian rapper Iceberg <coughs> Slim. The two hmm. later broke up though, but yeah. Again with the love for Another Nigeria Ghanaian Nigeria. person coming to get some from Nigeria, from the Nigerian guys. We do girls' rights. How about we just talk about act their acting? That's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I've talked about the acting, then I'm talking about what Nigerian guys did do right. <laughs> but really, I think that is what you just remember her for, like most yeah. recent Iceberg Slim. Mm. Mm. Well, I, I remember her as an actor. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And, um, but, yeah, you guys, leave me. But, um, I, I, it's nice. I used to, conf um, I used to get confused by, um, Just Lillian Bach and, yeah, um, July Ibrahim for some reason, because they look a lot alike. And but because people like that, like you see so many of them, just as I say sometimes like. that a particular person on this set looks like so many yeah. people. So, wait, but it's been a while. Yeah, that's I true, Lillian Bach. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a while I saw her. So, I think I saw Charlie Boy's post and then I saw her and I'm like, yeah. oh, where, where are they now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should do where are they now for our reasons. All right, moving on, guys, to our final actress on the list. Yes, Jocelyn Dumas. Dumas? Dumas? Hmm. The okay. name that many have wondered about. This curvaceous and stunning actress grabbed her attention when she stormed the Nollywood scene. She featured in season two of the series Lucky Wives, yes. And she's also known for movies like Shady Affection, Love or Something Like That, Potato Potato, and many more. She is so hot. She's beautiful and her body is banging. What? And there was, a, there was a time still talking about, you know, you people. And I talk, love the way she talks. You people talk about the Nollywood side. I'm talking about when they have affiliation with a Nigerian artist. Yeah, yeah she, affiliation. she was one that was featured in that Lynx video. She be my fine, fine, yeah, fine lady. lady. Yeah. So that I'm time. Like, who is this baby? That, yeah, because oh. she was hot. So that time there were rumors that, hmm, oh, Lynx. Sometimes do you wonder? Hmm. This God is wonderful. Do you oh, wonder she... sometimes you say, ah, it's unfair? How can some people like <laughs> have everything? What? And some people don't have any. This. Point. I'm sure people are wondering that about you as well. On that yeah. note, on that should note, we yeah. move on? <laughs> yeah. Do you go want for to that. go down this road? Don't go for that, yeah. Uh, uh, to yeah. save yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, 
I am stuttering at this point. I can say anything. So guys, focus. <laughs> we take a break now. And when we return, it will be time for movies and the movies with Fola Dili and OJ. We'll be right back. Well, now I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I'm done. Wow. Guys. OJ's face. <laughs> OJ, what is it? You don't approve. OJ, stop doing this thing. Because yes, I saw a video. Say like, say like. No, you know that video where Arika was dancing? Mm. Yes, oh my goodness, <laughs> that killed me. OJ went, like, what's this one doing? Everybody, I was, I now commented, I was like, this is how your enemies look at you when you're making progress. No, like, you don't get it. The attention shit of our it was OJ. People say, this guy at your back, though. People that know Enemies, your enemies will your neighbors. Look at how your enemies are looking at you. <laughs> In my mind, I say, <laughs> well, actually, I was just passing by, I was just looking at her, like, what is this one? What I think I would, well, really I would have done the same thing. Like, you know, like, what is this one? That's in front of the reception. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah anyway. it's true. By the way, Olibo, how are you spending your birthday tomorrow? Because you're not on the show. Yeah, so. I'm not on the show. I'm so excited. It's the first time or in a very long time that I would not be at work on my birthday. Yeah. So I'll be at home. Uh, uh -huh. I, I, I don't know if the, but then you know what? I'll just be enjoying myself. It's just going to be like uh, taking it. So easy where, where are we doing the party in your house or we're going did out? Did I tell you that I'm having any party? You must have. One. <laughs> <laughs> you say where are we? Uh, I don't want to come on Thursday. And somebody is uh, not chatting for you. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, yeah. don't do that. Don't you do that. Don't bring anything uh, from your trip. No, she you know, she brought. She brought. Oh, she brought. Yeah. Ah, how did you know? No, you cannot. Sure. You want to disgrace yourself. Yeah. Yeah. No, especially with the fact that, especially with the fact that OJ is so nice to me. I mean, OJ. That's you, so funny I, I, because. I'm pretty sure I filled in for you in your absence. But hey, what do I know? No, OJ is the no, nice one. You did not even allow me land. I mean, I used OJ's phone for like two years. Mm, did OJ. you buy him a phone then? Don't worry, you calm down. Don't, don't say hey, don't rush it. Let's just go. How can I call her and then and they'll say, they'll abuse me. They'll say, hey, she used her money to do and this. She did not buy phone. Let's just go. go. You guys, what if I got a new phone? I rejoice with you. Yeah. My people will say, more bad here. Excuse me, I change your phone. With you. We use the same phone and it was always coming on and coming off. So yeah. go and change your own phone too. Okay, yeah. Nice one. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Some people think they can call you out. I came ready. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is OJ. Um, be at peace with yourself. We have to go right now. Yes, thanks for watching. Only for to plug our phone and you'll die immediately. Thanks for watching. My name is Poladile. Bye, guys. <laughs>